Hello all and welcome <laughs> welcome to League of Legends. Okay, it's not League of Legends. So our maroon team is playing today against Loyola Marymount University for the C LOL tournament that is happening right now. And we are about to just go right into draft here today. So I'm gonna pull that up. For you all. A legend never dies when the world is coming you. Thanks for leaving us for your night. A legend never dies. They become a part of you. Okay, so <laughs> it looks like we are in draft right now. Are you here, Audrey? Audrey. Looks like our other caster is muted for the current moment, but hopefully she will be on in a second. Okay, so it looks like we're about to just start this banning phase. Okay, they're starting the draft. They are starting the draft, and we are streaming. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. So it looks like we see the first ban, yeah. Irelia for Trinity University. That does seem like kind of an unusual ban, so I assume that probably Loyola Marymount's top laner is proficient at Irelia. Uh, we'll see what Loyola Marymount wants to ban out on Trinity University. Okay, so it looks like they're wanting to ban out the Silas. I think that is a common pick for our mid laner Cami, and they banned out the Trin, the Jin, Trinity did. I know Loyola Marymount's bot lane is very good at Jin, and so it would make sense why Trinity would want to get that out of the way. <laughs> Do you have any comments, Audrey? <laughs> okay, oh, the Fizz? I did not expect a Fizz ban. I'm curious to see why that is. Yeah. Hello? Hello? I can hear you, Audrey. Coolio. Okay, looks like a Kaisa ban. Oh, I can't hear you. I just clicked on the stream. That's where I could hear you. Okay. Looks like... Okay, so Trinity picks Aatrox off the bat. It'll be very exciting to see Aureation on the Aatrox. I know that's definitely a fan favorite, and I'm sure that he has a lot of fun himself playing it. Loyola Marymount picks up the Talia. Talia is definitely a pretty scary pick. I kind of assume they'll play it mid, just because that's where Talia is being played right now. And that's a pretty strong champion that we've seen in some competitive play recently. Looks like they will couple that to Leo with the misfortune. 
Yes, Fortune is definitely a very strong pick right now. Um, and we will see how that goes. How will Trinity counter the MF to Leah? I don't think they're really a combo, but Misfortune will be pretty scary. Ooh, it looks like they're going to pick the Udyr. The reworked Udyr will be very exciting to see Wee Little Otter play that on the Rift. Coupled with Aatrox, that could be a very fun combo. And then they're going to pick the Caitlyn. I think Caitlyn is definitely a comfort pick for Spurs 21. Wow, I am really distracted by this music. <laughs> I think I have to turn it off. <laughs> okay. Okay, and then we've got the Amumu support. I'm sorry, we're kind of having a little bit of techni technical difficulties right now. My other caster can't hear me uh, in Discord right now, so I think we're probably going to finish up with the draft, and then I will go and figure that out while we're kind of waiting for them to start up the game. But I, for the time being, we see that that Lux is banned out by Leola. Marymount makes a lot of sense just because Caitlyn Lux is definitely a very strong combo. I'm wondering how Trinity will, if they, that was their plan all along, or if they have kind of another surprise pick up their sleeve. The Amumu is definitely very strong and a good pick right now. It would make sense that he's with Misfortune. I definitely think Loyal and Marymount has kind of a poke comp right now. Uh, luckily, Trinity does have Caitlyn there, who's got pretty long range, but... Um, that could definitely be a problem for the Udyr and possibly the Aatrox. Okay, and now Loyola Marymount has picked the Yone. So, it doesn't look like they, <laughs> well, unless they're going Yone top, which will be interesting. I, f I feel like they still must be doing Talia mid. Maybe Yone top, because Talia just isn't played in the jungle that often, but maybe that's a jungle pick. And Trinity picked Victor, an easy mage, not easy, but a mage to go into Talia. I think that's probably a smart pick, just because that range, Talia will definitely poke out any uh, short range champion. And then Trinity picks out, okay, Renata Glassic. They decided not to do the Janna and to pick Renata instead. Loyal and Marymount. I assume they're going to pick a jungler here. Yes, and it looks like they will pull out the infamous Maokai, which has become very popular in competitive play after the recent patch drop. This is definitely a pretty exciting draft, and we will see how this goes. <laughs> we got some excited people in the <laughs> We got some excited people in the chat. That's very very fun to see. Okay. I am going to hop off for a second. We're going to keep the stream up. I'll probably just keep the draft up and I will keep you guys updated when the game starts.
Okay, I think we are both back here. Can you hear? Yes. <laughs> There's Audrey. Okay. Yay. So we got stuff working. I kind of messed everything up, but it's all right, and we are back. No. And it, more excited than ever. Ever. So before. it looks like everybody has picked their stuff. They will be. Well, it's gonna say choose your loadout, and then it's gonna give us a nice three minute spectator delay. So that's uh very great. Uh, do you have any comments on the draft, Audrey? Anything that you like seeing? Anything that you're worried about? Oh well, I always love I always love a good Maokai jungle. <laughs> <laughs> you never see him enough, you know. So. No, that's very true. I know it's. Have you been watching competitive recently? It's been it's been very exciting to see that. I'm on the comeback. Yeah. See the Maokai <laughs> jungle. Definitely a very annoying pick. I can't. Imagine having to walk into the jungle and encounter those little saplings. Is that what they're called? <laughs> I'm getting that wrong. <laughs> Probably. Something like that. Something, like, something that. like that. Okay. And then the yeah. Amumu support is always interesting. Mm -hmm. At the very least to play against, so. Yeah. We'll no, see I how Nick does on that. Yeah, they've definitely got a lot of CC potential, it looks like, uh, with the Tulia. I mean, the Maokai can go more, like, slow if they want. And, I mean, the MF... Well, I mean, the nasty combo will be the Malfi, Ma Maokai, excuse me, and the Misfortune combo with those ults. Right, yep. So that's definitely a little scary. If we look on the side of Trinity University, I definitely think the Renata ult will be come in handy just considering the misfortune in Talia. Uh, you probably know more that about Renata than I do, though, <laughs> Audrey. <laughs> I have not actually ever played Renata. Have you played Renata? I haven't played her. I played with and against her, mm -hmm. so. I see. I know I see. enough of what she does. <laughs> <laughs> do you like her at all, or is she, is she not the funnest to play into? To play into, it really... Cause I, I play a lot of support, so mm. you know when you when you have a Tristana on your team, it's it's not a pleasant experience, I will say. <laughs> I see, I see. Okay, and then we got the Spurs twenty one on the Caitlyn and Renata. Do we think that's mm -hmm. a strong a strong combo? I think we'll just have to see <laughs> we'll how just it have to plays see. out with the Amumu support. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to think about. Like the ult synergy, I don't. There's not a lot, I guess, not that strikes me on the side of Trinity University that's like synergizing the same way. It definitely feels mm -hmm. like they picked to kind of counter uh, Loyola Marymount. For sure, they're on the defensive already. Mm -hmm. But it'll be good to see some of these like new players. I know we got. Uh, Virgin Nina Ninja, who's that's Cami, so we will be referring to him as Cami. So when you hear that, you know it's Virgin Ninja. And then we have Love Soso on Renata. Both of these are new players to Trinity University uh, Gaming and the Maroon Maroon team, and we are very excited to see what they end up doing on the Rift and the impact that they make on the game. We're also sure. seeing, yeah, we're also seeing a role switch for Wee Little Otter again. He played support last year. He played some mid before that, and now we're <laughs> now we're going to a jungle. So that'll be definitely kind of exciting to watch and see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see we got some Audrey, some Audrey supporters in the chat. That's always oh. welcome, welcome. That's so great. <laughs> Hey, why are we why are we doing the wee little otter toxicity? Oops, sorry. Now we got. Let's see. Wow, that really doesn't make it look any better. I'm gonna turn that off. <laughs> okay. This is the first stream of the year, guys. We're we're doing our best here, but it looks like we will be loading into the game any minute. I have the draft up right now, just because that's kind of the time being picture. For the game at four, I will be a little bit more on it. But for now, we are where we are.
I'm so sorry, guys. I'm really trying. <laughs> can you can you give a shout out to my friend Willie? Yes, uh, William Abbott. Shout out. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry give me a second I have to change my perspective on this one wow this is going kind of badly it's okay <laughs> <laughs> it's fine to see stuff chat my screen is pretty dark right now might take us a second to load in hopefully my computer doesn't break no don't worry that's that's what it looks like for me too so. <laughs> We got a nice, some nice blank screen with oh no yeah. names. So let's just fix that. We'll just <laughs> we'll fix the names. <laughs> nope, it's not gonna fix. There we go. Okay, super fun. It's looking like it's gonna take a little bit to load into the game. get to see all the fun behind the scenes working <laughs> which is great okay so it looks like we little otter took cleanse and smite so Ariation's taking the tp uh victor tp as well six burst 21 definitely decided to take that cleanse um oh wait we little otter is not cleanse it's that's my bad ghost. it's a ghost yeah. okay yeah that's <laughs> you can that's tell me like, what i'm wrong audrey <laughs> have, I, have i been confused <laughs> this whole time <laughs> No, no. Um, okay, and then Love So So. Wow, it's really having a hard time lo loading in. And then Love So So's just got the Ignite there. It looks like it's pretty similar. Even, oh my god, how do you say that? Nefaro Pito? Nef uh, I think it's a, a reference to like Hunter Hunter, so it's like Nefer Pito, but Nefaro okay. Pito? I'm not sure. Nefaro Correct me if I'm wrong, okay. guys. I like the name Tango Fish. It's a fun name. Castanata. Okay, so looks like Tango Fish is not going TP. And yeah. Wow, it's this been is fun to see like a lot more ghost picks in general. Like just over the last month, I've kind of seen them scale up, both in pro play and then as everyone else kind of copies pro play <laughs> yeah say. no definitely looks like someone in the chat saying it is a hunter hunter x <laughs> reference right there we go nice nice <laughs> on point wow we're really just sitting here <laughs> yeah i know i just don't know what to do to like I don't know. I've never had this happen when I've spectated a game before, actually. I know. They're definitely in-game right now. And they're yeah. things happening. Oh, 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 oh. Tell a joke? Anybody? I, I fixed it. Go ahead, oh, click click on the timer. I guess you can go to where they are now, like, towards the end. Okay. Like, if you click on the timeline, it oh will Oh, my begin. God. 
the, we've been sitting here this whole time. I like how we're not going to be synced up. Where are you? <laughs> oh, oh, I, I just went to the most recent, so it, it, it'll be fine. Yeah, okay, we're pretty close. Okay, okay. Like, are you at like 510 right now? Yeah, I'm a little ahead of that. Okay, okay I'm at 520 in two seconds. Yeah, okay. Okay, cool. We'll do this. It's, it's close enough. It'll be all right. Scoreboard right. kind of just stopped. There we go. Let's okay. Keep, we, we missed some of the fun. So we missed a lot. Um, <laughs> it looks like we got Trinity University on blue side, and we got Loyola Marymount on red. Uh, okay. And it looks like our our kills were from Wee Little Otter, and we got Renata Glassic on a kill, so it looks like we got some Bot Pryo, and then we have some top some top prio. Hatsunata's playing pretty aggressively. Uh, it's it's probably the skin on that Yone, you know, gets true. them nice and cocky. Yes, and looks like there will be a dive here. And oh. that dive will be successful. Wee Little Otter looks like he will need to clean up. Clean up on aisle five. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so he will just take that wave just so that, although this could be, no, this is all right. And the Yone will back. The little otter will pick up, pick up the wave, and then we're going to bot. Nexus gets a, blows out his candle and a little bit. Looks like they're going to try to kill the Yone up here. Will they be able to? I think so. It's looking like that's going to be a kill. And looks like they really chunked them bot. Trinity University did. Yeah. It seems like the Caitlyn Renata is a pretty, pretty strong bot lane. Um, or at least they're a little bit ahead just because of the kills they got. Virgin Ninja just trying to get some plating. I keep forgetting I need to call him Cammy. Who got yeah, first Virgin blood? Ninja. That's a good question, honestly. I don't. Great question. Like, It'd be great to know that. find out. <laughs> uh, I could go back, but then we'll be out of sync again. Yeah, I can. That's I can all do right. it. Do you okay. want me to, is it or? No, it's all right. Okay. Looks oh, like. Oh, we see yeah. this mid play got out the flash from Virgin Ninja. That's right. Oh, a moo moo close to that. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad that you are streaming this on your TV, Cheddar. That's um Honestly, the full immersion is probably incredible, I will say. A little bit of trading on the top side. Uh I mean right now it looks like the Yone and Ariation are even to a certain extent just with their kills, but it does seem like the Yone is a little bit stronger. And that's a gank on the there. bot lane. Okay, and then we got another top lane, and there's two flashes out from the top laners. It looks like Ariation will lose that oh. 1v1 fight. Both flashes, and yeah. Yamumu is I might back. Be slightly... Yeah, I think I think you are. <laughs> okay, great. no, you're good. <laughs> so now we're even at three kills to three kills. Trinity's up in gold a little bit. Looks like that's mostly because of well, we got some Aatrox CS. Now Loyola Marymount is going for their first, for the first dragon of the game. Okay, and I did want to note, I believe the first blood was um, a Yone kill on our Udir, the little otter. Okay. And then so it looks like comes out. Yeah. Will we little otter be able to clean anything up here? Will Spurs 21 be able to? It looks like they're trying. 
And there's the Malachi Flash. Blue Little Otter is going to keep up the chase if he can. Ariation still scrimmaging, or I guess engaging with the Yone up top. That's Yone ult. Looks like Ariation will lose that 1v1 fight again. It seems like those are not being super successful for him, so maybe he should... <laughs> I mean, you should take a little bit of time, farm up, get strong. Uh, I think Trinity University Gaming, now that they lost that kind of, that dragon fight, although I guess no one actually claimed the dragon, surprisingly, uh, needs to just kind of wait a little bit, look for good opportunities, good fights for them, where they'll be able to come out on top so that they can be successful in this game. It's nice seeing Virgin Ninja get some extra coin. That's definitely very <laughs> good for that victor, which will probably be a big part of the game, hopefully. Currently, right now, the Yone and the Misfortune are looking pretty scary on Loyal and Marymount. It's not really what you want. <laughs> <laughs> but I think as long as they're patient, it will be all right. Nexus has been playing a pretty powerful I mean, pretty aggressive Amumu. So, I do think they need to be, Trinity needs to be a little bit more patient. A little bit more careful. Looks like Malachi's gonna get the scuttle. Yeah. We'll see if anybody tries to go for the dragon anytime soon, since it is still up. Looks like Ariation's trying to disengage a little bit. They spotted Malkai. Looks like Malkai is going to start up that dragon and bot's going to go to meet him. And it looks like we actually might have Blue Little Otter. Well, Virgin Ninja's trying to come down, but it's getting really poked out. And that oh, is the Malkai ult. That's the double Malkai and MF ult. There's They're very so low. low. There's so and low, and looks like that's the flash for Spurs Rose 21. MF is get out there, but that's looking a little better. That is looking a little Gaming. better. I think TU Gaming wins. I think two to one kills in that trade, and it looks like they're gonna pick up the dragon from that. So that is good. Um, and also, Loyal Marymount isn't really yeah, able to good. make any cross map that's plays. Top lane war. <laughs> It is a top lane war. Yeah, it feels like there's a lot of fighting in this game right now. <laughs> An aggressive Yone. <laughs> yeah, he's a very aggressive Yone. Looks like <laughs> a little bit of banter in the top lane, you know. A little bit of a Giga Chad fight. Okay, and we see the like Renata has come we top. We do see the Renata. Oh, but won't, maybe. Won't quite pan out, it looks like. Oh. Although maybe. And that, oh, oh wait, I thought and he died there for a second. We go. And there's the <laughs> kill, okay, that's that's a good shutdown. Was that, uh, did Aatrox get the shutdown? I think so. Yes. yes. That's definitely very good. Ooh, we got, we got a little bit of a scary moment there with Nexus in that bush, just waiting. Interesting in the bot lane, He's the hungry. position, we can note, they might be going for a dive here on the Caitlyn. Yeah. Looks like it'll take out the TP from Trinity Gaming. Will Spurs 21 still win that fight? But it fails on that side of Loyola. The dive fails thanks to uh, Victor's TP. Yeah, that was a great TP by uh, Kami to help out Spurs 21, and it's very exciting that they were able to they were able to shut down that <laughs> that misfortune. I think we're gonna just watch a little bit of Malkai jungle farming. Malkai you were, gaming. You were interested, <laughs> true. It's like a little bit of skirmishing in the mid lane. But uh, Malkai's on the way with that ult. Yeah, we see the ult. But Virgin Ninja is able to just kind of walk out. He walks towards Wee Little Otter and doesn't get penalized. Or no, towards Love So So, excuse me. Looks like Wee Little Otter's looking to take that scuttle, and he will. Looks 
Looks like Umumu might be making another uh, play on the bot. Might no, it looks like he will not die. Uh, on top lane, we just have this this level differential <laughs> with <laughs> Aatrox and the Yone, but. Oh, wow. No, you're very right. That's a good thing to point out. We got the 11 Yone versus and uh, 10. <laughs> oh, oh, and, and Ariation goes a little too far in, There's has to splash, use the flash to get out. And the ults, wasn't that? Is that the ult? Okay, I don't know. <laughs> and we'll see if they try to pick up that uh, Rift Herald then on the side of the red team. That's right. In the chat, we got a... We got a proposal disperse 21. Let's see how he responds to that. Oh, wow. That damage from Virgin there. Ninja is very close to to a kill there. It's looking like he will be kind of a big threat to Loyola now. Um, yeah, he's scaling nicely. With finally got that Ludens online and everything. Mm, yeah. Looks like Trinity University is looking to take the Rift Herald. Uh, oh, action in the bot lane. And there's the engage from the Amumu. With that Love MF Soso ult. tries to negate the damage with his ult, but is unable to. It looks like they will continue the dive. Will Love Soso be able to get anything oh. from it? Yes, he will. He will be able <laughs> to get a double kill in response. I don't know if that was really so who that won on that side. Or? I know, I'm like... I guess it went both to the Renata, but it also doesn't really okay, help. A double gank up here in the top lane. Yeah, we got got a lot of fighting, a big skirmish, wow. And there's the Maokai ult. Oh, will Oriation be able, there. there's the Talia, I think that makes it, Oriation may go down there, it looks like. We but little we may see the victor come up big here. Oh, the victor is here? Wow, that's, that is big. Looks like hopefully we'll, he'll be able to get the Talia, although Talia does a lot of damage. Wow. Right. So that's the two for one. That feels pretty good on the Victor, I will say. And they will take that top tower, I assume, with the Rift Herald. That's a lot of gold going over to Kami that there. That, that Udyr back animation I hadn't seen yet. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like the gold uh, difference now is about 31,000 to 28,000. So we got um, a 4,000 gold lead. Is my math correct? No, it's a 3,000 gold lead. I apologize, <laughs> You're guys. Close. Only one off. Only I'm not a off. math major. <laughs> I mean, I should, yeah. <laughs> Computer science. <laughs> Hopefully, no, but it's fine. Yeah. Okay, and the Amumu goes in the there. The Amumu engage. Looks like they might take Love Soso -So out here, although Ariation is here. It's this skirmish. We Little Otters going in. Wow. And then they get that double kill. Spurs 21 gets a kill, picks up a kill on the Amumu. Casanata is trapped under the tower. Will they be able to get him or will they just leave him? Be it looks like Trinity University is just gonna back out there and take what is rightfully theirs. The second <laughs> Drake of the game. Okay, so we're seeing a bit of a comeback here. I, yeah, we are Amazing. seeing a bit of a comeback. That's pretty exciting. I mean, wow, the Victor. Victor's looking a little scary right now, I'm not going to lie. And the Udyr is, every time that Udyr no death. comes. No death. Yeah. It's a little, it's a little intimidating. Besides it has you maybe asking, <laughs> why was we Little Otter on the support this whole time? We had no idea. <laughs> what he's capable of <laughs> that's so true that's so true i know maybe jungle is is the true we a little out of role we'll never we'll never know <laughs> looks like they will go for castanata here on the bot lane he kind of overstepped he's gonna miss that ult Made and will virgin well ninja up. no it'll be with little we otter go. that picks up the kill Just a lot of Back for that Udyr. Yeah. There's a lot of aggression in this game. We're at 25 kills in 20 minutes. And in case, in case your math is still a little questionable, that's, <laughs> that's more than a kill a minute, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Audrey. <laughs> the stats are much appreciated. 
Okay, so we see this Baron spawning. We don't have much vision on the side of TU Gaming. That's true. Looks like uh, Loyola is going to start clearing out vision around that. Uh, Love Sosa is going to spot out the Maokai, but that won't really turn into anything. Oh, so that's the new Renata skin. That's actually really cool. Looking at the chat here. <laughs> what are Eric they saying? Eric is bait at this point. Eric is so well because he doesn't know he's bait. That's... Uh, no comment. Professionally, no I comment. know. <laughs> Professionally, we can't say anything about that. I do think in Deceptions, it is better when you don't let anyone in. So uh, maybe maybe Udir knows he's the bait all along, even if he doesn't. True, true. Looks like they might try a, a dive Having here. a little fun here in the mid yeah. lane. We got four. Wow, that damage. That's and there and there goes the most fortune. Wow, the full the full victor combo. What a thing to see. Sometimes it makes me really happy that I'm not playing these games and I'm just watching them. <laughs> For sure. Looks like Wee Little Otter is spotted out, just clearing some vision around Baron. Uh, Tango Fish trying to take this bot turret. Looks like Virgin Ninja might just go full force, but backs off. Looks like we got a little bit of a jungle fight, but that was disengaged too. Seems like Loyola might be looking more for late game at this point, uh, just because Trinity University Gaming seems a little bit stronger than them, uh, comp-wise and fight-wise. They might be waiting to kind of just farm up a little bit. Yeah, and if, if we do note the objectives, uh, mm -hmm. Loyola, they haven't gotten a tower yet, and we have both dragons on the side of TU Gaming, so yeah, let's see, we can see if they try to pick up anything like that, or how this plays out. There's about a 5,000 gold lead in the favor of TU Gaming. That puts them in definitely a really good position right now. I don't know how long we have till the dragon comes up. It, I feel like it's probably going to come up relatively quickly just because, I mean, they're moving towards it right now. Yeah, we got the timer on the dragon, so that will happen. So Victor just poking out anyone and everyone. <laughs> That's very true. Well, it looks like they will start on that dragon pretty soon, trying to push the wave. See if they can find... Trinity's going to probably see if they can find any good picks for this dragon fight. If not, they are definitely in a pretty good position. Looks like Loyola might actually counter with a Baron. We see them on the Baron. Does The question is, does TU Gaming know? I think they do know. It looks know. like they're heading up there. And they're going to be forced off of that Baron. Yeah. It's like they will condense and they will be, yeah. So we leave that Baron. Will a fight ensue? Trinia Gaming is looking like they're going to go for that mid tower and then possibly for a dragon run. Right, it's looking we might get to see a good team fight or not. Okay, there. <laughs> <laughs> Loyola has said, let them have it. Just let them have it. <laughs> they said, maybe not today. I think that might be the right decision for Loyola just at this moment. I think they need a little bit more time to farm up uh, and get stronger before they take on Trinity University. So Trinity University just had a, a better position on the dragon. So don't want to go into something that you're unprepared for. I know they were about to get wiped, uh, Diego, <laughs> but they didn't. I feel like, I guess looking scaling wise, I can't tell, I mean, I think Trinity might have better scalers just with the Caitlyn and I know with uh, the Victor, 
don't really know how Udyr or um, Aatrox scale. Right, well, I haven't seen um, an anti-heal pick on the side of Loyola. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I know we've been kind of poking fun at the Aatrox, but, you know, with that Eclipse, it can get a little scary. Yeah. Healing-wise, yeah. for sure. So, we'll have to see. And Udyr, of course. Hmm. Almost all of TU Gaming's people have two items as well as Loyola Marymount. Looks like pretty even. There's still definitely that um, 5,000 gold lead in between them, which looks a little scary when you consider uh, fighting against Trinity University. Hopefully Love Sosa doesn't get caught out there. That was a little bit of a precarious situation. Looks like people are just gonna kind of push in lanes. You see a fight possibly condensing. Oh, a little BM here. <laughs> <laughs> and we little otter. I see. <laughs> little bit of teasing. Little playful banter. <laughs> Question is, can we get the Amuma to go in on it? Will we? What will happen here? I know that. And there goes the Amumu and MF ult combo. Oh wow, there it is. Does it take out Virgin Ninja? Yes, no, yes it does. Oh, and the Udyr got a little cocky, we'll see. I know the Udyr is going in. It's like this oh, is definitely Yone a little bit of a tech fight. This is an ult. Is Trinity University able to pick anything up from that? Oriation's going in on Casanata. They might just back off a little on that. Yeah. Looks like they will back off. They lost only of the victor, but that is a shutdown that does that go to Misfortune, right? Or the Moo Moo? It looks like that went to the Misfortune, which is definitely a little scary. They're gonna grab this Baron if they can. Yeah, it looks like Trinity University is going to see if they can sneak the Baron without Loyola knowing. It looks like Loyola probably knows right now. Oration's yeah. going in. Will he sacrifice his they life? No, he blows the, the flash. They're able to get the Baron, but Oration's not going to make it out alive. Neither is the Malkai. They are stuck in the pit. It, it Will Spurs 21 die? Matter. No, Spurs uh, 21's alright. And then the last one left is Car Carsonata. Spurs 21 leaves with that triple kill. have the ace. Well, that went pretty good for Trinity. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah it looks like so. they're going to take this Baron and push it as far as they can. Uh, I think they'll be able to get Inhib just because, I mean, people are still So we still just up. see this um, failure by Leola to, like, create that objective pressure and get those objectives yeah which kind of bears the question how is that Malkai jungle working for you guys <laughs> <laughs> and I definitely think that they I mean they were pretty strong at the beginning uh, but you know Trinity just had that really good really good fight that helped them Burn get the there game. yeah, yeah. This is definitely a big dragon fight. Loyal is trying to secure. Looks like the Mumu is just going to go on, but he doesn't really have a lot of backup. Except now. They're going to try to pick out Wee Little Otter, but it doesn't quite work out. Right, and we're seeing them go for this dragon here. And they're not going to take action in time. That's right, the dragon goes to Trinity University. They got that soul, uh, which makes them very strong. They took out the Amumu. Looks like they won't quite be able to get the misfortune with that uh, Caitlyn ult, but they're just gonna keep on pushing. They have that Baron buff and they have the soul and they are really scary and really strong right now.
I don't think there's much that Loyola can do. The question is whether or not Trinity University will back off after this. I think they're just going to keep going. Yeah, just see how far they can push it. One second. That be here. Wow. Okay, they're going to try to stop this, but the question is, can you? With how strong that Udyr is. Staying alive. Okay, and this is looking like a win for TU Gaming. Looks like that will be a win for Trinity University Gaming against Loyola Marymount University. Wow. You should have never doubted them. We never did doubt them. I w we never did. Sure, sure, never, never. We never, we never doubted them. Not even in top. Not even Not for even a second. Top That's right. So that's a that's a win. Wow. Yeah, I think we definitely saw that victor shine. Virgin Ninja shining on that victor. <laughs> yep. Okay. Well. <laughs> That was a that was a pretty quick game I felt like. Yeah. But we will be back at um 4 p.m. for the second game uh that Trinity University Gaming is going to play. I'm actually not sure who they're going to be playing in that one. And that is definitely something I should figure out, but I just wanted to say thank you so much for everybody who tuned in to watch. Uh, we are probably going to stop the stream, or I guess I can keep it running, but we'll just keep it muted, and we will have the second game at 4 p.m. Okay, see you guys later. From mid lane interview. <laughs> <laughs> I know, maybe we could do a, maybe we could do an interview. Just drag him in here. <laughs> we drag him, <laughs> we drag him in here. Okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, if we can get him. <laughs> yeah, let me to pull up my discord that's important i mean i didn't quite understand the trinity university gaming comp just because i don't i'm not that meta of a yeah thinker. i i didn't see it i didn't see it i didn't see the vision but it was there it was there the whole time <laughs> Are we able to get that mid laner interview? Oh <laughs> my god, we can, we can. Okay. <laughs> if if I can Cheddar. find them. Are they not even? No, they're here. They're not even. They're not here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I think, I think we're not going to have the mid lane interview this time, but we will definitely get an interview for next time. We'll be better prepared. Yeah, okay. maybe we can. Grab him after either before or after the four o'clock. Yeah, game. that's a that's a very okay. good point. We might be able to grab him before as well. Okay. All right. Well, thank you guys for, for tuning, tuning in. in. <laughs> we'll see you. We'll see you at four. That's right.